<laughs> hey people, this is the Broken Puppet, and this is how to draw an old school ship. Enjoy. Right people, how to draw an old school ship. Now most ships generally have like a three or five set between three to five cells. I'm gonna go for about four so it's about even. Start with just get yourself a slightly angled line. Slightly angled line. Come across to the top one. Line across two. Line across three. Line across four. Now we got the fourth one. Bring the diagonal line down. One there. And they slip it at one, two, three, four cells. Try to get them roughly about even spaced. Now the easiest way to measure up, you know, I'm going to start with the cells first. You know, because you don't want the cells to end up sort of like looking too box shaped. Now where each one of these lines are, come back just a little bit, just on each one. So if you imagine where that line is, little marker there, little marker there, 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 and there. Roughly about the same distance between these lines. Now from each of these ones, create a curve going from there to the top corner. Like so. From here to the top corner. From this here to here, you want to create this arch. Now you want it to come higher here and then go slowly down. As you come across. Like so. Now these bottom ones are going to be slightly different because uh, this way is going to connect up to the boat. So where we've got this line here, this is going to be the front of the boat. So I turn this sort of triangular, and that's going to create the tip point at the front of the boat. From here, just create this little arch like this. Bring this corner down. Roughly about the same kind of angle as what this is. There. So rough line across again, I'll do where you can, and when you get to here, just curve this back. So you've got this nice S curve just here. And now once you've done that, we've got a rough idea of where we want to curve this bottom one now. So I'm going to start from here, and we're going to connect this up to the boat, roughly about halfway in this gap, on this side. And when this one comes down, roughly about there. Create a nice big arch. Connect them up like so. Now let's create your first one, two, three, four cells. Now if you back ones, just copy the lines but just a little bit lower. About the same height each time. Now same thing again, just bring back a little line on each one of these lines. Create a curve and connect to the corner. Create a curve to the corner. Curve to the corner. Like so. Now this bottom one is going to be different because obviously this cell uh, wouldn't make sense to go down here. So what we're going to do is come from here, create an arch, create an arch off of that, create an arch off of that to the end. It's just where like the cell is folded up. One final set, one, two, three. We're just doing three this time. Bring it out a bit more. Just curve them again like so. And now draw a line coming up roughly through the middle of these. And this is where you're going to want your main poles to be. So 
see you've got your line coming up. I'd like to put my little crow's nest, so I'm just going to bring in a little kind of box shape, but slightly at an angle, like a teacup kind of shape. Bring that crossed. Bring in a couple of rope lines, just coming down, like so. Line across it, short line. And just going off into a sharp S curve coming off, so really sharp. Underneath, just to make your flag. Quick line coming up just behind it again, just like another one just here. Nothing too crazy on this one, just another couple of lines. That should do the trick. Now from here on this edge, just bring a line, a little bit more diagonally, one or two in the middle, and then just lines across. You're making that net, you know, like the net that goes up the sails. Another one, just a little here and then underneath. You can have a few little lines just coming from here and there, just underneath if you want, just like little rope lines. Don't go too crazy with these though. Now, where this triangle bit is here, go one, two, just there. Bring back a line, come into the second cell. Okay, a little arch just here, and curve that to the same point. A little arch just coming from behind that one, and curve up to the same point. It's just creating your front mile cells, or whatever you call them. I don't know the technical term. I'm not, it's not a sailor. I'm just bringing a little line back here, where I've done this line just down here, I'm creating a V shape off of that. Coming up, and curving around. When we get to here, we're just going to have the little archway for where people get onto the boat. Just going to create a little line just coming around the edge of that. Maybe a few little cannon holes, just at the bottom. And that's the basics for the ship. Now, traditionally with these ones, it's usually sitting on, like, you know, you've got something here underneath. So I'm going to do like a little flower under here, just here. And I'm going to do some waves going around the top. Now, start with the flower, just do a little circle in the middle. Then just do a line at the bottom. You want to divide into five segments. Roughly about even. Just keep adjusting them until you get your toy first bar right. And what we're going to do here, bring this up. It's going to make a little sort of like V shape and then indent in the middle. Almost cherry blossom like. And then just curving it around into those lines. line in each one of them, a little circle just on the edge of them, it's going to bring another circle just in between each one, then what I'm going to do from the centre, it's going to create a nice curve, come up around the ship, and if we can get even on both sides without it really touching the ship, there we go, that sort of shape. Now from here you're just going to have some leaves, so I'm going to create this like semicircle this side, semicircle this side, just to create this kind of teardrop kind of shape. From here it's going to create one on the outside, one on the outside, another one in the middle, one to the side, one to the side, one in the middle. Nothing too crazy. Now I'm just going to try and make this roughly even on the other side. So you're just basically mirror imaging what you've just done. Don't worry if it's dead perfect, you know, it'll look fine once you sort of colour it all in. And then we've got the waves. And the waves are going to do like the old school ones, so I'm going to create like a nice wiggly line coming across and curving down. And then we're going to do it in. Each one of these little wave bits, just bring up a line, don't go to the line, just create a little wavy shape and come back down. 
And then these are a bit uneven, so they're not all the same height until you fill in that space. Do another one just next to it, like so. Line and line there. Don't need too many. You can have a little one just around the edge if you want, just to fill in that gap. But that'll do the trick. Now you got that, just pin it all in. Do do do. So I'm just going to start at the bottom here. It's going to circle. Getting those petals. in the middle. Circles in between. And where I've got each of these V shapes, I'm just going to bring in a little outside line. And each one of them. Just like so. Semicircle. That's where you each get. You can take your time with this, I'm going to be quick so mine isn't going to be 100% symmetric. I'm just going to repeat the semicircle pattern just to fill in the gap. Roughly three lines on each bit. So there's your flower. It's your first petal. I'm just going to put a line down on each of the petals. Or the leaves, whatever you want to call them. Like so. So, it's going to do the waves. I'm just going to work from the bottom and go all the way up. So, yeah, that's the outside lines of the waves, and then what I've done with those, in case you can, can't see it quite clearly, come out to the wave bit, just create like a little dip. Come up next to it, create another one. Just break it into sections. All going roughly in the same direction. See, like so. Got the boat. Now, where we've done this spike bit off of it, it's going to create a little circle just here, just to surround it. Bring it straight. Sorry about the interruption, people. Right, so, yeah, so we've done that, done that. Now it's going to fill in the rest of that line work. So we're going to bring that line down to there. Then one up to there. Just down that S curve. Get to there, make that little box bit. Just A little circle, but it's just the bottom. I might add a little wood effect in here. 
No, but I'll see as I go along. Just adding these outside waves. There we go. I'm just going to add this line in here. Comes to that. Get a little arch. Then add up to the same point. Little arch. Up to the same point. Now where this bit connects here, I'm just going to do a little line just first. So as you're sort of tied down. And then create my arch. Like so. Bringing a line across. And just pin in those sails. Like my line to come just a little bit further in the cell, so I do that and just put a little bit on the edge. So a little arch piece, just where that one's rolled up. And those back cells. I'm just going to have this pole going out the centre. Some little lines around there, just where it's got rope around it. Until it comes to a point. Bring that flag. So you can just see everything a lot more clearly now. Right about straight lines, like I said, you know, just grab yourself a ruler, you know, I never feel like using a ruler is cheating. Secondary pole. And you can have a couple of lines just coming down. Nothing too crazy. And what I like to do is just have little deep few little detail lines just going up the cells just to show the shape of it. So very sharpen. Now you've got choices, you can go just like you know, leave it as it is and shade it. All I like to do is just bring in a curve, following the same kind of curve as that. You can have like one, two, three if you want to, you can have like four at the top. I just recommend whatever you use on one of them, use on all of them, the same number. 
I'm looking at, I'm thinking the four is best for this one. It always depends on how long you do your sales, really. Just like so. And then to surround it, your clouds. Really easy this, just get yourself a circle at the top, that same circle, and then just create uneven circles just curving off of each other. Some bigger, some smaller. Just filling in that outside shape. Try to make it not, it doesn't have to be 100% symmetric, but roughly following the same kind of sizing lines. I would recommend. Bring it down the touch so I can see the top. So, yeah, just like semicircle and then just create circles just off of that. I'm just working off of circles each time, off the edge. Just like so. Had a couple of little V-birds in there, you know the old school ones used to do when you at school. As many or as few as you want. Grab your rubber. Just rub out all that pencil work. See the design a lot more clearly. Start some shading. We we'll start off with the sails. Now you got like two choices. You can sort of do the old school, like really vintage ways, just shade off the side. What I like to do, come off the bottom. Just follow that curve round. I'm just using brush markers here. You can use pencils, paints markers, anything you want. It's all the same thing. Get my light shade, just come off the top of that. So you're just creating a shadow of that curve so you get like that full sense of the wind blowing it. And it's a bit more Sort of shape wise, you know, than what you know, most traditional sort of ways of doing it. But that's the way I like to do it. And just a little shadow on top. So it gives it a hint of like the curve. There you go, this bit. Put a shadow underneath that. Just flick a little bit of light in the middle of that bit. Grab me black. Just gonna flick a little bit of black out these corners. Just shade the other way, like so. 
I'm just going to use a lighter shade on this bit and just up the center of that part just there. Now the leaves. I'm just going to flick out from that side and then from this side on the inside of the leaf. So you're coming from both side angles. And just come in with a little darker grey and just blend them out. Then come on me your grey. Just gonna go up to the line, I'm just gonna leave that little white edge. On the waves, each of these little segments we've done, just going to flip black at the top and blend it out downwards. Blend them out with the grey. It's going to be darker grey. It's going to have this shadow just going right out of the centre of the pole. And then just behind these, just where you get a shadow coming off the other sails. Now you've done that, you can mark off roughly where the sails would have come through on this side. So if you imagine it comes across here. You have your line come in there, your line come in there, and there. That's great. This little shadow just coming out from this bit. Blending it out with the light grey. those last bits on those outside leaves just kind of the exact same way just on the side and then we can hit it with a colour Now, like I say, always take your time with these. You know, I go through them pretty quick, so you guys can just get all the information. But don't feel like you have to go fast. 
If I was doing this like normally, I'll probably spend a couple of hours on it. Get some color. Let's go in blue. It's going to color in those waves in blue. Just like that. Grab me a red. Color in these petal bits, not the top section and not the circle. Center part. I'm going to run this across this top part of the mast. Top part of the mast. <laughs> uh, the side of the ship. I don't know the technical term. Leave a little white gap just there to create shine. I'm going to flick in some orange. Just to give it a bit of a golden tone. So, the brown, I'm just going to colour in the bottom part of the ship brown. So once done the sail, I'm just going to colour in the leaves. Just going to leave like a little white highlight towards the edge. Sorry about that, people. Sorry for all the interruptions. Oh. Seems like as soon as I go to move, the bloody phone rings or something. Alright, what bit to do next? Oh, yeah. That's what I was doing. Colouring in those leaves. So just colouring those in, just leaving out those little white gaps in between those areas. And then, yeah, let's do the clouds. I mean, it's a bit sort of stormy, so I'm just going to have like this kind of grey pinky tone. Do 
do this and I can put some cool high, uh, white highlights after this. It's not often I really use the block side of these markers. It's mainly just really for stuff like this, you know, where it's just like a bold section. to get those white highlights in the back just really bring that ship to the front so basically just blocking in this whole area just be careful not to go over your ship Green on these secular parts. And then some white highlights, I think. It's just a Prisma pencil. It's going to put in this cool white highlight just all around. Ship. And this will just give a really cool effect and just bring it right to the front. Traditionally, it's not often you really get too much white in old school tattoos. But when something just works, it just works. So we're just all around this outside edge. Trying to keep that thickness roughly about the same. You can now see the effects I was going for starting to show you through. Just really brings that ship to the front. Just a little bit white just in certain areas now just to bring a little highlight. Nothing too crazy. little bits of those waves. I'm just 
going to color in these little sections here in white. And then just one little bit, just come around the outside of these leaves. there and finally just bring the flower before uh, there you go that is how to draw an old school ship you can have a little highlight going for the center bits if you want but it's not necessarily needed No, but yeah there you go i hope that helps i hope you enjoyed it check out my other videos like subscribe yada 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 you know the usual routine and the broken puppet and i'll see you next time peace out